back to the adventures of happy hours. In our last episode, we visited TT's Tiki Bar and Fisherman's Village in Punta Gorda. In this episode, we head to Burnt Store Marina and finally back home to Cape Coral. So stick around. All right, we're just pulling out of Fisherman's Village Marina. That was a bust. Their fuel dock isn't working. Shorted out from the last hurricane, no electric. But maybe pumped out, the boat pumped out. Yeah, we so. got, got some work done there. So we have to go to Burnt Store Marina, which is a little further south on Charlotte Harbor. Never been there, so that'll be interesting. But we're running a little bit low on fuel. It's our fuel percentage, 15% on that tank, 25 on the other one. But uh, plenty to get to Burnt Store Marina. It's about, uh, I don't know, hour and a half away. Depending how fast we go. Yeah. yeah, the night on the hook was another rough, windy night. Bouncing around. Oh, the generator stalled out in the middle of the night. I don't know if you knew that, Bridge. That's it. I woke up. Okay. And um, I had to unclog the, uh, the strainers. And it wasn't just the strainers. I had to take the hose off and get all the gunk that was stuck in the hose. The intake for the generator it was uh, it overheated and then... Uh, shut down so I had to do that at 1 30 in the morning that's always fun maybe just kept sleeping all night but we're heading home today after a nice long weekend Labor Day weekend so now that we're really light we have no water no waste no fuel in the boat Going almost 22 miles an hour, just under 4,000 RPM. Pick her up a little bit more. See what she does wide open. 21 miles an hour, 22. Yeah. Wow. Big difference when she's not so fat. Wow. <laughs> yeah, not even wide open though. So 4,000 RPM, you're gonna get it wide open. Might as well, give her a stress test. We got full tabs, We're doing 22 miles an hour. A little over 22. All right, not too bad. We never run her like this, so take her back. But not doing too bad, considering bottom is not in the best of shape. Pulling into Burnt Store Marina, first time ever. They got a nice marked channel here. It's a very well protected marina too. As soon as you get inside the bay here, it opens up to uh, marinas both to the left and uh, all along the shoreline on the right hundreds of boats in here. A bit windy today, so hopefully we can maneuver around in here okay. Pretty tight squeeze. We're gonna wrap it up. We are just pulling into our home port. So, um, nice trip from Cape Coral to Punta Gorda, pretty much. Our first time. We enjoyed it. We hope to be back there again. A lot of nice places to go, a lot of interesting places to go and visit. Burnstall Marina, we pulled in there for gas. There was a nice little lunch breakfast place where yeah. you, where you um, picked up uh, egg sandwiches. What was that called? Trading Post. Trading Post. Yep. The Trading Post. Right next to another restaurant. K. K. Key? K. K. Casey Key. Right? Yeah. Uh, there's a, a restaurant there too. So um, 
yeah, we had uh, nice new places to go that we haven't been. We love doing that. So, um, there's Matey. Matey was a good boy, too. Mostly. For the most part. Mostly. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah. dog friendly places, but Matey's sometimes not very friendly. Yeah. So, but um, we had a great time. Great yeah. time. Looking forward to going back. It was fun. New waters, new places. Been there. Uh, by car and ever by boat and uh, both both stops did not disappoint yep so another yeah. successful weekend yeah and the boat ran good yes. no uh, maintenance issues other than cleaning out a strainer for the through haul that picked up seaweed again which is normal but um nice experience all around so uh, we're almost home we got to clean this up boat got a little salty and um we'll get ready for the next trip so thanks for following along and we'll see you next time.